I, in this uh, help video, I'm just going to give a bit of information about the grid and uh, ladder interfaces. We'll start off by opening up a market, go to uh, Greyhound Market, so just open up the winning market. So we've got the grid interfaces loaded up there. Um, say we wanted to open up the uh, next Greyhound Market um, and keep the present one open, um, what you do is right click on the header go to next races and then just right click so if um, say we wanted a third uh, race open let's go for the 10.05 at Romford so now we've got three race markets open just add a fourth for good measure so right click again there's the fourth so we've got all four markets the primary market the active market as you can see is wherever the uh, whichever market your mouse is over and it shows up um, here in the main info bar at the top which is the active one so you can see that I've switched across to the 1005 at Romford and um, the market info main uh, info bar has changed and if I go around them you can see how it changes another way of uh, opening up more than one market is once you've got the first one open just um, expand the market navigator just click on whichever market you want so we'll go for the 1005 at um, Romford so you just left click on that and it opens up the uh, second market. When I right click on the header here and go to uh, next races, if I, as I was doing before, I was right clicking on it and it opens up the other, the an additional market. But if I left click on it, it will close the market that I've clicked on and um, replace it with the new market. So here on the uh, 25 at Romford, we'll just go for the 2213 at Wimbledon. So if I left click on it this time, closes that market and opens up the other so um, that just shows if you right click it opens up an additional market if you left click on it from that menu it um, closes the uh, current one and opens up the uh, the uh, new market to get the uh, ladder in interface open from the grid you can just right click on the header and you can see here it says show ladder so if you click there up comes the ladder um, I'll just move the uh, grid over there bring the ladder to there. At the moment it's only showing um, the one ladder because that's all I've asked it to do through the very, through the settings I've got at the moment but we'll change that in a moment so it displays more. Likewise if um, say now we close the grid just by clicking on the close button and right click on the header you can see here it, of the ladder interface you can see here it says show grid so you just click there and up uh, comes the grid interface. So what we'll do is we'll just close this market by right clicking on the header and clicking close market at the moment I've got it so when I open up a new market just the grid opens but um, if you want to change that so say you just have the ladder open or you have the ladder and the grid open or neither um, all, you, all you do is right click over the market navigator and you just go to default market open and you can see here at the moment I've got grid selected but you can have it non ladder or both so we'll just put it to ladder um, and we'll just open up the market you can see now the ladder opens up straight away and we don't have the grid so let's do that for um, so we get both the grid and the ladder so just go to both and load up the market and you can see we get the ladder and the grid open so what we'll do now is we'll just go to um, a different color market we'll go to um, the US opens on so let's go to the tennis market so if we click on tennis match and we're just looking they're all of the markets, but if we go to what's on now, we'll find an active market. Um, I don't know if this one will do. Can't say I know much about it. That's good. There's a bit of money around. Not too much, but there's a bit. Um, so what we'll do first of all is we'll just uh, close the grid. So we just have the ladder. The application ships in the toy layout, um, but there's various other standard layouts um, that it ship ships with. So to get to those, you just uh, right click over the uh, ladder interface and you just go down to standard layouts. And as you can see, there's uh, various different uh, standard layouts here. So I'll just quickly run through these. Um, there's the toy, as, as I said, which has the uh, back column, the lay column, graph down here, You've got your prices, how much has been matched, uh, all the individual prices. Um, scroll bars here to move up and down um, this is uh, the entire market from 1.01 .01 to 1000 
the black bar just black bars here just display what is um, currently being displayed on the market. Um, you can obviously see the back money and the lay money. Um, the white represents a gap in the market, so there's a gap here between 1.63 and um, 1.61, and you can see there's a big gap all of a sudden appeared. So it's a big white patch. So I guess he either went a point or something like that. Um, you can also see there's the weight of money indicator, last uh, price matched. So you can see as that changes, you get the flashes, which would basically works as a standard um, any other ladder you would expect. Um, shows how much money has been matched on that selection. We'll just run through a few of the others quickly. So just go down to standard layouts again. We'll go to financial. That looks like that. You can see the graph here a bit clearer. You can see the amounts being matched. Um, Self-explanatory. Um, just go down to reader. So as you can see, I'll just go back to that. These are three um, ones that are independent, new to the uh, toy, and then you've got various ones that um, replicate as fairly similar to uh, other commercially available applications. So you've got Bet Raider, Bet Raider Collusion, Bet Devil, Bet Devil Reverse. So uh, there's the this the Bet Raider one, and I'm sure you all know what it's supposed to represent. So that's that. You've got uh, your back, your lay columns, your bets would appear in these columns. So if I just put in, uh, in a bet there, you can see it gives the countdown because it's an in play market. And there's the bet. So there's the £2 bet that we just put in. So we just cancel that. And likewise, if you put in a lay in, you get your 5, 4, 3, 2. So the bet goes in, which is handy. And then there's our £2 there. So we'll just put another one in. We'll just uh, cancel that. So there you go. That's that one. And then you've got the Bet Raider Nickelution, which is pretty similar to the last one, apart from you've got your price graph down here, your tips on, uh, the amounts matched at the various prices, back lays, your bets would appear here. One I uh, haven't mentioned yet, which is um, in play. So if you select that. Um, this is a really uh, slimmed down version of the uh, ladder. And what it does is it actually displays your bets in the uh, price column. So if we just put in a uh, two pound lay here, you can see uh, two pounds uh, lay there is at 1.95. So rather than the price 1.95, um, we see our bet. Um, to put another one in, let's put one in at the back side, put it at 2.54. You can see it's there at 2.54. Um, to cancel them, you just click on it, um, and that's that put another one in. Um, to move it up the ladder you just drag it like you would on any, any other ladder really and uh, it changes from a hand to a uh, crosshair so that's 1.92. If we drag it off to one of the sides um, we get a no entry sign um, so if I release it there basically nothing happens. Um, it just stays where it was so I'll just cancel that now. So yeah you've just got your uh, lay column, your price column, your back column and your uh, profit and loss column. So what we'll do now is uh, we'll just go to a horse market and uh, show how you have more than one ladder. Um, so we'll just load this market, just close the uh, grid. Um, as you can see we've only got one ladder at the moment. With uh, this application you can have as many as uh, 60 ladders, it just really depends on the amount of uh, screen space you've got. So to increase the uh, number of ladders you just right click in the header and you just go down to ladder layout. And then you go to either max columns or max rows. So max columns, you can have a maximum of 1 to 20. Um, so for this, we'll just go to uh, 5. And it lays up 5 ladders. Um, if we wanted to have uh, 10 ladders, for example, just go down to ladder layout. You could go to maximum columns and have 10. But what we'll do is maximum rows. We'll have uh, 2 rows of 5. And there you go. You've got a uh, total of uh, 10 ladders for this market.